what we're gonna do um, with some young lady is that, um, you know, right now I'm marking up the back. You know, the goal of all of this is everybody wants to get that waistline. This wants to come in like this. You wanna get that curve over here. So typically what I'm doing is, is I'm, I'm marking my boundaries, my anatomical boundaries of where I'm gonna do the liposuction. So once she's laying on the table, everything kind of loses its, its anatomy. So these marks are very important. You know, I'm carving around her, her buttocks so that I can really get that shape, like I said, bring it in all the way like this. You know, I mark at the lower border of the 12th rib, which is where that maximum indentation of the waist should go. And then, you know, we want to create that hourglass figure, kind of something like that. This is the goal. So then after I kind of mark, you know, what I'm doing, then I kind of figure out where the fat I'm going to take. So the most of our fat right here is in that lower back flank area. Like I said, this is the most, this is the most important area from the back view and, and from the side view because this is what gets that, that curve here. gives better definition to the buttocks, brings this in, gets that tiny little waistline. And then you can see she has some rolls up here, that kind of upper back fat, that bra fat that everyone is always so concerned with. So we're going to liposuction get that, get that nice and thin for her. Um, Bob Russell. And then, you know, the other little part here is that little part where that comes right over here. You know, which bothers all, all women. So like I said, go bring in a tiny waistline, get the curve, and go from there. So um, today with our patient, we're going to be doing the uh, tummy tuck with the liposuction on the back. I already marked the liposuction on the back and I've, I've already marked her tummy tuck. You know, um, she has a, a very low C-section from her, her child. Our goal with the tummy tuck is that we're gonna make an incision lower than the C-section. It's gonna go from hip to hip. What we've done already here, and we, we've started the liposuction on the back, the first thing we do is we infiltrate the uh, Timescent solution, which is a saline solution, which has a little bit of some numbing medication, some lidocaine, and some epinephrine to help, to help with the bleeding. We put all that throughout the entire area that, that we're, we're working in, and we allow that to sit for about 10 to 15 minutes, so that way the amount of blood that comes out during the operation is, is still very small. And then, you know, what we're doing is we're using a, um, this is a five millimeter cannula, called a Mercedes, you got a couple tips. This, we go in and out, and this is what sucks the fat out to, to create the shape. And, and that's what it's all about. It's about, you know, removing the fat to create a certain shape. Like here, I'm diving down because I really want to get that waistline nice and tiny and, and really get that curve in that lower back. So it looks like she had some enhancement to the buttocks. So, you know, you have to get the fat out in, in multiple layers. I'll, I'll start with, with the deep fat. And then as I get more closer to the skin, I'll actually go down to a smaller cannula, like a, like a four or a three, typically a four. But you know, the whole thing is, just trying to get that waistline, which is really what everybody wants. Everybody wants that, you know, tiny waist, the cintura. I think it takes us about 20 or 30 minutes to, to liposuction in the back to get the waistline. A lot of times I'll check it by lifting up the hips just to see where I stand. But you can see she has a lot of fat here that we need to get, so we're gonna be here for a little while, really carving out that fat. And you can see behind me, that's where all the fat's coming out in this tube in here, so. So this is the Tumescent solution where we infiltrate the blue, which helps with the bleeding. Every now and then, sometimes if it's a little bit, I think, you know, insert a little bit more is to keep things well lubricated and to keep the blood loss to a minimum.